think there's nothing wrong with this tear list. I think this tear list is, is real, real to the core. I think Brian is in. Right, let me put Brian here. I think Brian's here. I don't know why Lee is this high though, to be fair. But everyone seems to say Lee is high, so we'll, we'll say that. Apparently, Lee's meant to be the, 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 the dog's bollocks, apparently. So I don't know. I have no idea, in it. I've not seen. I've not played the Lee. I've not seen the Lee, but apparently he's meant to be really good. So I have no idea. Is this is this agreeable? Then can we can we agree to this tier list? Thanks, Vinny Boom Boom for the uh, free viewers. Jin is really strong in this game. Jin has a lot of say. I, I'm gonna explain my tier list. Let me explain my tier list, so then it makes sense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you lot can disagree with me if you want, but alright, we're gonna get into it. Alright, am I gonna start from high to low or low to high? What do you lot want me to do? Do you want me to do low to high or high to low? Alright, if you want me to do high to low, press 1 in the stream chat. If you want me to do low to high, press 2 in the stream chat. That's the best way to do it. High to low is 1, low to high is 2. All right, I'm seeing a lot of twos. I'm seeing a lot of twos. I'm seeing ones as well. It's pretty equal. All right, so we're going to do low to high. All right, we're going to do low to high. All right, let me get into this. <sighs> All right, so Anna is low tier because her combos are not great in the neutral. She has good she has good wall combos, but her combos in neutral are not that great. It makes it go away. You have to run up, dash up, and do stuff. It's not really that great. Her full crouch game is pretty linear. You can step some. You can step most of the options. Um, she ain't really that great. And her power crush, which is the full crouch uh, down forward two, I think it is the one that goes like that. Um, it's not that great because it's pretty seeable. Um, and even the one where she goes forward and does that one, that's pretty seeable as well. She doesn't really have anything to be honest. She doesn't really have that much great mix-ups. Obviously, she has the stance, which uh, if you do a low move. She does the automatic hop kick, but it's not that great. So that's why she's bottom tier. There's nothing really to her. Um, her rage drive is, just looks weird. Um, yeah, that's about it. She's, she's not that great. Um, what about Lei? Lei is... Uh, Lei has, I've been playing Lei since Season 2's dropped. I've been playing a lot of Lei. Uh, I played Lei two weeks prior to Tekken 7. I don't want to hear anyone say, but you didn't play like uh, Lei in Tekken 3. Shut up. I can pick up characters and learn them and understand how they work. Um, Lei is... Uh, I mean, his range is not good. He's more of a mix-up character. But his mix-ups are not that great. Like, he does stuff like maybe do Razor Rush, press down, and he goes into stance, or press up, and he goes into stance. Forward, neutral, fourth, one, and goes into stance. He does stuff, and it goes into stance, but you have to be kissing the opponent. And what I mean by that is you have to be so close to the opponent that nothing misses and that's a problem in this game because someone could just do a hop kick or someone could do something and it will knock you out of that type of close space so it's it's really hard man like yeah you can do the um you could do the stance the the ha ha step the proper one where you go we press back three plus four then press down back to move space but yeah so you can say late is probably mid at best and look now so you can he mains lay and obviously i understand what he's saying but lay is pretty bad in this game pretty bad he has stuff like a uh, down back 4-4, which is really good. It does You don't need clean hit for it, and it does the combo. Sick. His hot kick is one of the worst in the game. It's really trash. His down 4-2 has no range. Um, his combos can be pretty inconsistent if you extend them. So the running forward 3-4, sometimes you can miss it. I find myself missing it sometimes. It's not really consistent. Uh, he's running, he, he's running a slash move, which is running 1. It's not that great. It's plus 8 on block, but it's not that great. Um... So it leads me to say that I think Lei was a lot more better in Tag 2. I don't know how he was in Tag 6 because I never played him in Tag 6. Tag 2, he was a lot better. 4 4 3 had a lot more range. Um, yeah, he just had that range. Um, okay. Moving on. So Gigas. Gigas is. Gigas is still trash. But he. You can make him work, but you have to play very dry. Yoshibis has more stuff. Uh, 
The Retribution the Master Standing Punishment is pretty good. The Master Standing 2 1 is pretty good. Um, overall punishment is not that great. Um, yeah. So I put, I put Yoshimitsu has faults here. His overall punishment is not that great. Eddie's overall punishment is not that great. His while standing punishment is pretty is impressive. While standing one three or while standing two three, the one standing two, one standing one three, I think it was. That's pretty cool. Um, but he has faults though, man. Eddie Eddie could be picked up from a lot of things now. It's not like I was in tag two way. There's stuff that I could have picked him up. Uh, yeah, but that, that's the best while standing launcher. It's, it's really good. Um, Lars, I mean Lars is pretty okay. He just doesn't have. A lot of tools to kind of like you know win a major and stuff he just he's just there um punishment is pretty good arc blast is pretty good um yeah akuma and eliza why akuma and eliza are here is because akuma and eliza their neutral game is, is sucks like they don't really have a good neutral game at all um geese has a lot more better neutral game than akuma and eliza uh, Akuma and Eliza probably have. I think they have probably one of the best war games. Uh, war, war games. Uh, war, war uh, pressure in the game, along with Jack. Jack has the best, I think. But Akuma and Eliza because they can either do a mid and it splats you, or they can do a, a splat in from a low. So I, I, other than that, their neutral game kind of sucks. So that's the reason why I said they have forts. Um, Panda and Kuma, they they're good in the open, good wall damage. Um, yeah, I, don't, I think they're pretty well-rounded. Um, they have stuff from stance. Running 1 plus 2 is pretty annoying as well. So, yeah. Eliza's pretty well-rounded. She has good pressure from the neutral. She can run into you and do stuff. She could keep pressure onto you. She's really good. Um, yeah, I think she's good. Josie is pretty well-rounded. Um, I think Josie should be where Akuma is because... Nah, I think Josie, Josie can really pressure you, actually. Josie, should, Josie can really, really pressure you. So, I don't know, man. I think Josie's pretty much well-rounded. Uh, Lee? I don't think Josie should be more... Wait a second. I think I should put Josie more higher than where... Than thingy. I'm going to put Josie here. Because I don't think... Jo I don't think Lee is that much better than Josie. Lee is okay, but his punishment kind of sucks. Um, his pressure kind of sucks. And he has to rely on counter hits. And I don't think this game is... Uh, you can't really play Tekken 7 on a counter hit basis. Unless you've got like, stuff like Magic 4s and stuff like that. Magic 444 and stuff like that. So I think this game you have to kind of be aggressive in Season 2. Lily. Um, I mean, Lily's Lily, isn't it? <laughs> Lily, Lily's just Lily. Lily's uh, got nice setups and stuff. Um, punishment's okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't really find... I don't have problems with, uh, with Lily, to be honest. Kazumi got nerfed. She's she's still, like... I think she's not that great. Punishment is not that... Well, Punishment's good. But she ain't that great. Shaheen, Punishment's okay-ish. Not that great. Uh, I think Shaheen... Shaheen is... <sighs> Shaheen is kind of well-rounded though when I think about it. Shaheen should be where Josie is if I'm honest. I don't think I don't think Shaheen has that many thoughts. I think Shaheen should be here. I think Josie should be here. Alright, uh, Lucky Chloe, she's been buffed. Apparently she's meant to be here. I have no idea because I ain't thought no Lucky Chloe's. Uh Master Raven, I ain't thought no Master Raven's Noctis down back two is ridiculous. And you can't know parry unless you're geese. This move, which is dig out the dirt. Which I call it, dig out the that move is ridiculous, and then you get the downfall one plus two, that is ridiculous. That move is ridiculous. Like that makes up game. He's really he's really annoying online. Apparently, you can see the damage too. I need to maybe I need to practice looking at it because I could, I can never see it. Um, King King has okay punish, but other than that, he's he's neutral game ain't really that great outside of throws. If you actually had a King player and he, and he was told not to do throws, I don't think he could win. I don't think King can win without throws. He needs the throws. So, yeah, I don't think King's all that. Um, Miguel, he's got better range, better pushbacks and stuff. So, like, Savage Dance down. Is it down forward too? That, that's got a lot of pushback now. He, he, he seems pretty strong now. And even from his strings, he gets quite a bit. So, I think he's pretty good. Uh, Bob. Bob seems, to, Bob seems to have, like, his plus frames back. Like, when he does down back three, uh, when he does down forward one, two... 
stuff like that. He has his range back now, so I think Bob is pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm really liking Bob in the season. I never when I played Bob in season uh, when I played Bob in season two. Now when I played Bob in season one, I didn't really like him, but Bob in season two is really really good. However, I think Bob should be more on. Uh, I think Bob should be swapped with Ling. Yeah, let me put Bob with Ling because I think. Let me put yeah. Let me put it here because I think. Bob is well-rounded. Bob has good punishment. The only thing he doesn't have is like a 15-frame hop kick. That's about it. But his punishment is really good. Bob is really well-rounded. Um, Kazuya, Kazuya still has stuff. But I still think he's the worst machine man in the game. I don't know if you don't want to agree with me. But I think... Yeah, he's got the best part. He's got... The, his punishment's good. But he's the worst machine man in the game. Uh, Katarina, Katarina's got good, good stuff now. Her down forward three plus four being minus fourteen is absurd, because it covers so much range. I don't know why. Um, her punishment game is pretty good. Two two, up forward, uh, up forward four four. Uh, she has good stuff. So I don't know. I think she's skanking this season. I don't know. I don't know if whether I should put her higher. I think I should put her higher to be honest. I don't think she should be this. I think she should be here. But I don't know yet. I don't know. I think she's really strong. Um, Dragonoff. Dragonoff is still good. People say he's nerfed, but I think Dragonoff is still good. Dragonoff is still good. Um, Geese. Geese is good. Geese is. Geese is. I don't think Geese has changed much in this season. I think Geese is still stay the same. The only thing I would I would like to have back. Is one plus two being safe? I think that was stupid to make it fourteen. Cause I don't even throw out that move anymore. There's just no point. You could use it as a whiff punish, but I mean, I don't really use one plus two anymore. That was a move I really used to use. I, outside, like if I do like side step three, I'll do one plus two because it's safe. Now I just don't do it. Uh, Feng, Feng is well rounded. I think Feng is pretty good. Um, decent punishment. Um. I don't know whether I should put him in has thoughts because some of his punishment, some of his stuff is a bit finical. So I don't know. I think I should put Bob more on this side. I mean, not for Bob, Feng. Uh, Brian, uh, I see Ace Marco saying that Brian has really bad matchup. I, I wasn't really basing uh, the well rounded on matchups. I was basing it basic. I was basing it on their punishment and how they approach matchups. Um, yeah, Brian definitely has some bad matchups and his his uh, movement is a bit finical sometimes, but I still think he's pretty good. He has everything, man. I don't. I, I think he has. I think he has everything. You know, Jack. What the? I don't know. Hmm. I think he has, I think that's pretty cool. 3 plus 4, down forward, down forward 2, 3 plus 4. He has pretty good things. Harang. Um, he has good mix-ups. He has insane damage. Insane damage. Um, however, he does have thoughts. Um, Paul has insane damage, but if you block things, you can punish it severely. Um, so, yeah. Heiachi has good punishment. Heiachi has ridiculous damage. Heiachi also has ridiculous setups. Heiachi's overall been buffed in this game. He's he's ridiculous in this game. So yeah, Leo, uh, same thing. Good good punishment. Uh, good stuff. Safe stuff that when it count hits, you, you get you get like good damage. She's really strong. Nina, good punishment. Um, I think she has really good punishment. Um. She can cover range pretty well as well. Wall, wall game is pretty good with the, with the mist and stuff. So I don't know. Hayachi's Hayachi's uh what well, no you say Feng's while standing punishment. I mean, we could put Feng on here if you really want to. We could put Feng here because I do I do generally feel like I want to put him on. I put Feng here on here. I do feel like his while standing punishment ain't that great. So I don't know. Um, I'll move this here. All right, now we're gonna go to. Uh, just because Sefi's winning tournaments with uh, Miguel doesn't mean that Miguel's meant to be top tier. 
That doesn't that doesn't make sense. That's like that's like me saying um that's like me saying oh I should put Kazumi in uh top tier because uh you know Kakoma is winning tournaments with Kazumi. You can't just say it based on that. You have to say it based on facts. No, no, no. Miguel is not top tier. He, Miguel is strong, but he's not top tier. So, I don't... I, I'm really... I don't, I don't understand. Miguel is good, but he's not better than... Wait, he's better than... What? Paul? Heiachi? Leo? Nina? No, 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 no. I don't know when it, that, that... Each to their own, innit? You don't think Heiachi should be that high? I mean, if, if Miguel is... All right, so here's my thing. If Miguel is better than these characters here... If Miguel is, Miguel is on the same level as these characters, that's what you're saying. Nah. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't say that, man. All right, let me get to the top tier. He actually should be down further. Why? What's wrong with he actually? He actually could do damage. And let's, all right. So what you lot say is he actually should be here. The girl should be here. That's what you lot are saying. That's what you lot are saying. This is upper mid. This part is upper mid here. This is this part is upper mid. This whole strip here is upper mid. Where Lee is, that part is like mid. So I don't know, man. I... I don't. I don't think. I don't think Miguel should be higher. But let's get into it, Steve. Does absolutely ridiculous damage. Um, obviously, he gets a he gets a proper setup now from the the push to the wall. He gets the back one two. I think it's fighting frames. Uh, his rage drive now is a problem. His rage drive is really good. He gets like knocked down and then gets he can get like a combo off of the rage drive. It's really really good. Um, yeah, he does. Steve is really really annoying. Jin is. I think Jin is really strong in this game. Jin can cancel stuff from his stance. Um, four four two, no no, he's he's got like just a lot of safe things in it. Four four two, which he did have from before. He has like just certain annoying pokes. I think Jin is absolutely perfect. I don't really know anything wrong with Jin. He gets a combo off his health sweep. He can do rage art from his health sweep. Um, he has it. I think he has everything. I don't know. He's rage drive, all the four hits, if he, all the four hits hit, he gets a wall splat. And then gets a combo afterwards. If your back's against the wall, he could keep on doing one, two, four, and keep on realigning you against the wall. Jin is ridiculous, but I think you lot will see soon enough. Jin is top tier, I mean, oh, Asuka's top tier, but has faults. What's, I don't know what faults she has, but we'll put her here anyways. Law is sick in season two. Because... I don't know, I think Law is just really good, man. Down forward two, three plus four, three, no, three plus four. Three plus four three. Sorry. Yeah, three plus four, three. The slide game. His punishment seems good. Throws. Um, his, rage, his rage drive is now minus nine, not minus 12 now. I don't know. I think he's really good. I think he's, I think he's definitely up there. Uh, Devil Jin, Devil Jin is just Devil Jin. Devil Jin's got L sweep, he's got everything, man. So, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, you know, I'm gonna go and grab a drink. Uh, I'm gonna put you on ads. Um, obviously, if you got ads, ad pop up, then it ain't gonna affect you. But I'm not gonna do no content here. I'm just gonna go and get grab a drink. 